Oops. So the collecting aspect really started in 1988 when Jeff was drafted by the Phoenix Suns. Um, my grandmother lived in Phoenix at the time, and so she was really great about getting me stuff. Some of the stuff I bought on eBay, but some of this is stuff that she brought, sent, sent home for me. Um, that's a program from a game I attended. It says 1991, so and I got this ticket stub in there, so I must have gone to that one. He came back for a little bit. Those pins, those are named pins. Circle K cup with him on it. Another Suns guys. The starting lineup figure was the really big deal. This is not, this is the second one. This is my second one. I'm keeping the one my grandma sent me. <laughs> um, but uh, they were, I think they only made 2,000 of these. So they're pretty rare. Like I said, I've got one that my grandma kept and one that's part of this collection. And it's, as far as dollar values go, it's one of the more expensive things. Um, these media guides. I like I like those a lot. I don't know what it is about those. I've got several of those um, various years. I like this throwback shirt too. This is the only one of these I've ever seen. Um, this is a vintage shirt from the time. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit me because I'm too heavy. But uh, I really like it. It's very got a very late '80s, early '90s feel to it. <laughs> and then a lot of the rest of this is just clippings, and these are clippings that my grandma sent me. Um, some of them I've laminated, some of them I haven't. The bigger ones hung on my wall at various different times. Um, you know, especially at first he was, that's not a clipping, obviously it's card from something. Um, <coughs> but, uh, you know, these clippings were relatively hard to come by, even in the Phoenix paper, especially early on, because he doesn't play a ton. But my grandma always made a point to send me clippings whenever she could. And that one came out of, I think that's out of Sports Illustrated, so I always liked that one. I think that one hung in my locker when I was in school. I love these pictures of him with his kids, too. These are some of my favorites. I don't know, that one's getting glared on, but you can see him, like, holding his kid up to the basket. <laughs> such a great family man. One of the many reasons why I was fortunate to pick such a nice guy as, like, my sports hero. Um, so, yeah, these are just, like, various clippings and little pictures and you know he didn't get a lot of pictures in the newspaper so my grandma made a point to always send them to me so they've got some i don't know if there's any anything anybody's going to be able to do with them but that one hung on the wall of my classroom even for a long time some race signing autographs for fans and stuff i like those Steady game exceeds expectations. It's probably the year where he's finally starting to break out and finally starting to kind of become somebody. <laughs> With his Hilton days behind him, that must be an article that's probably out of like an alumni magazine or something. And that's another professional one. That's the, that's the only, like, I think I bought that at the comic shop in Ames. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of professional pictures like that of him. But like I said, I like this. This says from Carnation Dairies. That's the only one of those I've ever seen. Um, I think it's really sharp. Good pictures of him. And then this is a, an actual starter poster, which is the, there's one for Phoenix. There's not one for Philadelphia, at least as far as I've ever seen. And I've got the Utah one as well that I'll show later. Hope you come back.